a soft and moist carrot cake with warm spices, coconut, nuts and pineapple. You don't have to tell anyone that this delicious cake is 100% whole wheat. The weather is turning a little cooler now and I want to eat desserts with warm spices like cinnamon. Carrot cake, fruit cake and the kind are warm, comforting and of course delicious too. This particular cake also freezes very well so it can be a great snack whenever you want a slice. So first things first, we'll preheat the oven to 180 degrees centigrade and I have this 8 inch square tin here which has been lined with baking parchment at the bottom and have sprayed it with some baking spray. You could also use an 8 inch or 9 inch round tin if you wish. Please do check the note at the end of the video. So here are the ingredients for this recipe. Please don't go by the number of ingredients I'll be listing out now. It's worthwhile making this cake. Please do try it. So here we have some eggs and some vanilla whisked into it. And then there's some vegetable oil. You could use any flavorless oil you want like rice bran oil or sunflower oil. And then we have some white sugar, powdered white sugar and some brown sugar here. Wheat flour which I have sifted twice with baking powder, baking soda, a pinch of salt, some ground cinnamon and some cloves. Here we have some toasted and chopped up walnuts and some dried coconut which has been shredded. And there's some grated fresh carrots here. Please weigh the carrots as you would do with the rest of the ingredients. This is very important. Then we have some chopped up pineapple. I'm using some tinned pineapple here. And we need the zest of one orange for this recipe. The wheat flour here has already been sifted with the salt, baking powder and the spices. So this is ready here. So in this recipe we are going to be using a hand mixer and this is just to incorporate the ingredients. Do not overbeat or the texture of your cake might suffer. So we'll first take the eggs in this bowl. I've added some vanilla to the eggs and we'll beat this on low speed just to break up the eggs. And then the oil and the orange zest. And we'll beat it again. And remember we are using this on low speed throughout the recipe. And now we are going to be adding the white and the brown sugar. Mix again. Now we are going to be adding the flour and beat on 30 seconds again. This is just to mix the flour into this batter here. Now you do not see any more flour here and this is all that is needed. If you overbeat your cake might be tough. And now we will add the grated carrots and the rest of the ingredients. The coconut, the nuts and the chopped up pineapple. Be gentle when you mix the batter. And now the batter goes into this prepared tin. And now this cake goes into the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. We need to bake this cake till the toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. So here is some cake I have baked earlier this morning. You can dress it up with some cream cheese frosting if you wish but I like to eat this plain. Maybe with just some powdered sugar dusted on top. I hope you'll try this cake. Please do let me know how you liked it. Lots more recipes and lots more tips coming up on Cakes and More. Please subscribe. Please stay tuned.